Plumbing math, rolling offset formula. I'm gonna teach you the rolling offset formula, I'll teach you the easy way to do it. Now make sure you stay around to the end because I'm gonna give you additional multipliers. I'm gonna show you how to do the rolling offset with 45s, but I'm gonna give you the multipliers for a 22 and a half degree fitting, a 60 degree fitting, and even a 90 degree fitting. That's the easiest one. Anyway, let's get this thing going and let's show you how to do it. Now, if you've never been here before, or even if you have, if you have not subscribed, please subscribe and ring the bell and share this video with anybody that you think might need to learn how to do a rolling offset. So first of all, I just wanna start off and show you like a regular offset. And if you've got a piece of pipe coming up over here, you've got a piece of pipe coming down over here, all you do is measure center to center, multiply by 1.41, and that gives you this piece. It tells you how long it needs to be. So what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna show you how we do this. So first of all, here's my drawing. Now, what I've got is I've got section A, section B, and section C. I wanna put some numbers in on it so I can show you how we're gonna do this. Now, we're gonna say that piece number one is 61 inches. And this is gonna be the C overall length. The section down here where A pop is, is gonna be 42 inches. Now, I wanna show you this because if section A pop were running right straight through, that's what it would do. If C pop were running right straight through, that's what it would do. So it's real easy to see what these would look like. Now, if we were doing just a straight center to center measurement, you could literally measure right straight across there and know what it is. But we're trying to figure this a different way. We're gonna take an eight inch rise and a 12 inch horizontal. So we've got eight inches on the vertical, 12 inches on the horizontal. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna square those. The formula is A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take eight squared is 64. 12 squared is 144. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and bring calculator in here and show you what I got. Eight times eight equals 64. So we know that that one's right. Then we're gonna do it again. 12 times 12 is 144. So we've got these numbers right, so now we're gonna add them. So that gives us 208. Now what we've gotta do is we've gotta get the square root of this. So to get the square root of 208, we're gonna hit the square root. So what that gives us is 14.42. I wanna write that down because that's, what's, that's what we're gonna to use to multiply with. Now 14.42 is gonna be our true offset. So we know that if we measured that offset right there, which is our true offset, it would be 14.42 inches center to center. But we don't have that. So that's what we use this formula for. So once we get our 14.42, now we're gonna multiply by our constant. Our standard multiplier for a 45 degree offset is 1.414. So we're gonna go ahead and put that in. 1.414 equals 20.392. What that tells us is that piece B right here is gonna be 20.39 inches. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that down right here. And we got that from the 45 degree multiplier of 1.41. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna go ahead and clear some of this back out. What we're gonna do now, we're gonna do this with a 22 and a half degree. Say that the fittings right down here and right here were 22 and a half degree fittings instead of 45. Everything changes just a little bit. We're still gonna use a lot of the same numbers. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring my calculator back in here. We're still gonna take the eight by eight. So we're gonna multiply eight by eight. We know that's gonna give us 64. We're gonna do 12 by 12, which gives us 144. And we're gonna add those together. That gives us 208. Now we know we need to get the square root of that. Again, I'm gonna put it back up here, 14.42. The multiplier for a 22 and a half degree is 2.613. So we're gonna go ahead and multiply by 2.613. That gives us a complete piece of 37.68 inches. Now, if we come back to this drawing, we've got everything that we need. We know our rise, we know our vertical offset. 
Now that we know this piece here, we can also determine our C's and our A's. So this is just fun to play with, it's fun to do, and really it shows you plumbing math is pretty easy. Yeah, right. Now I'm gonna go ahead and keep this here because we're still gonna use the eight by the 12. We're using an eight inch vertical, a 12 inch horizontal. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna change our multiplier. We know that we take the 208, we get the square root of 14.42. But what we're gonna do now, we're gonna take our 14.42, we're gonna multiply by 1.155. What that's gonna give us is a 16 inch piece. If we have a 60 degree offset, our total piece center to center is gonna be 16.65 inches. Now, one thing that we need to remember, we need to subtract makeup. So if you're doing carbon steel fittings, you're gonna take the carbon steel fitting measure from center to makeup, and then you're gonna subtract that four inch in to get your cut. Now, on a weld fitting, you'll also need to allow for your gap. So just for example, I'm going to the Charlotte Pop and Foundry Company's fitting book right here. And if you go to PVC fittings, it gives you a part number. You can see we're talking a 45 degree elbow, which is also an eighth bend. See the A measurement? So you're running three inch pipe and it tells you that makeup on your fitting is one and three quarter inches. You add one and three quarter, one and three quarter, you get three and a half. So any of these measurements that we've talked about, if this was a 45 degree, you would take off three inches and that's gonna give you your exact piece. Guys, an offset, a rolling offset really isn't that hard to do. If you know your formulas, you know your numbers, it's something that you can do very easily. A 22 and a half is 2.613, a 45 is 1.414, and a 60 degree is 1.155. Now, the end, the easy one, a 90 is a one. Once you figure out your offset, remember back on here, we showed that this 12 by eight equals a 14.42 center to center. Now you're gonna multiply that by one. Your 14.42 center to center is gonna tell you exactly what your measurement is. Say again, we were working with two inch. Again, I'm in the Charlotte fitting book. Right here, you've got a short degree 90, a short radius 90, two inches, inch and a half. So you would take three inches from your 14.42 and your measurement piece, your cut piece, would be 11.42 inches. Guys, a rolling offset really is not hard to do. Now, plumbing math, plumbing math's a lot of fun. If you've got any plumbing math you're having problems with, do me a favor and leave me a comment down below. I'm Roger Wakefield, Lead AP, the expert plumber. I'll see you in the next video if you don't get flushed.